Now it's time for movie time with Chet Wilson. Once in a generation, there is a moment, a brief moment, lost in the blink of an eye, when one man has a chance, just a slim chance, to change the world, create a phenomenon, and define global culture. Last generation, that man was Kevin Costner, and that moment was Dances with Wolves. Now, I know it's a bit confusing, but this is not some animated film featuring choreographed farm animals, but a multi-layered love story about a man with the wilderness, the ocean, and his infatuation with uh, the post office, discovering himself, nature, and the majestic wolves who roam the lands. Kevin Costner is the dirty Civil War soldier posted on the very edge of civilization, South Dakota. He's determined to conquer the majestic terrain with love, Alone in a small ford in a vast expanse of water, Costner passes his time recording his life events and the habits of the majestic wolves in a vast expanse of water in a journal he hopes to mail back to, uh, I think it's Tom Petty. Along with the unadulterated joy that comes from watching the wolf, Costner befriends some Indians, I mean Native Americans. He gains their respect by bartering goods like paper and dirt which I guess are rare in the Midwest. But with every silver lining comes a cloud, a barbarous tribe of First Nation people led by their tyrant, General, General Jerusalem, raids the peaceful city defended by the Mariner. In one terribly majestic battle, Costner is nearly scalped along the river by one of the smokers on a sea dew. But hideously, he's a fish man and can breathe underwater or something and submerges himself and swims upstream. Our hero, wounded and disoriented, retreats to the safety of Tom Petty's dam. His pet wolf has also been wounded and is presumably disorientated. Costner and his wolf need healing, majestically. It is here where man bonds with beast, proving that Costner is a, a demigod who can talk with animals. Together they are healed, emotionally and physically. Somehow the wolf is pregnant, Costner must now care for himself and his new cubs. Spring arrives upon the shoulders of winter as Costner and his family leave their dilapidated refuge, burning it to the ground all a backdraft in a majestically symbolic act of defiance against... something. As Costner and his lupine companions search for their old tribal friends, he discovers that one of the cubs has a magical birthmark shaped like a map. Kevin goes on a journey delivering... delivering mail while outrunning the Exxon Valdez to arrive at the ends of the world to start a new life. So in the end, Dances with Wolves is really just a majestic love story between a man and his dog. Oh, and the cub with the birthmark? It didn't survive.